wanted to go ahead and explain to you the difference between your final copy and the, the sample I left right here. Um, we did this entire thing in one paragraph and pasted it. This was done in segments that were pasted. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to try to explain this as simply as I can. Uh, let's look at, I'm going to revert back to where you can restart. I'm going to do this correctly. Um, let's go ahead and create another layer here. I'm going to hit shift in the F5 key. That's the key at the top of your keyboard. Filling it again to black, just like we did in the first tutorial. I'm going to move that to the bottom. This time I'm going to take this layer here and I'm going to drop the opacity so we can just make a like a light. We just want to be barely be able to see it. Okay. Now, this one bulges downward. Ours bulged upward. Doesn't really, there's not really that much of a difference. This one has downward text. Ours just went flat across the page. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of create a quick little idea of how this is done. So I'm going to click here. And I'm going to hit Command-V to paste the text that you had. You can go back and copy it. And I'm going to hit select all of it, Command-A. I'm going to bring it down to, let's see, let's make this 180. And let's go to our window character panel, which is for y'all, right here. And I'm going to click and drag this down to By the way, you can click and drag those. I don't know if you caught that in the last tutorial. Um, so here we are. Now we got this text here. It's on top of your graphic. We need to move it. Um, so I'm going to move it just like so right there, maybe up a little. And I'm going to click uh, Control click on it and rasterize the type. And then I'm going to Control, I'm going to hit Command T. I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to click on this block of text. I'm going to say warp. And I'm going to just kind of bulge this from the top and pull this in. I might just want to do it just like that. So, and you can get an idea how this kind of, see how you might want to go into a different font size. Because that pretty big on the top. You can play around with this as much as you want. Anyway, so that's kind of how you would do it there. You're, keep in mind, this is just segments of it. So then you would have that, you would rasterize that. You may uh, want to go back, and if you want to go back and mess it again, just hit Command-T, Control, click on it, or, and you're back to where you can edit it some more. So you can pull it and mess it around. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and show you the downward text, how they had the text going downward. I'm just going to type in um, Halloween. Okay, hit Command-A. I'm going to make that type font just a little bit smaller. You, you can do that by clicking up here or your shortcut for that. I'm going to hit Command-T, rotate that just so slightly. Like so, hit return, and I'm going to just keep on going, and I'd work all the way around this. Um, you know, you might want to get up here and you're like, okay, well, my first paragraph, I don't really like the way it looks. Well, you can just grab your eraser tool, and if you don't like the way it looks, it's been rasterized, you can just kind of erase over that segment right there. And you can put a whole new line of text right there. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to type in Halloween and click on that. And I'm going to try to form that to that area. Hold down Control, rasterize the type, hit Command T, hold down Control, warp it. And I can hopefully fit that word more into that shape. And all this is is just fitting words and text into a certain shape. We're bending the text. Okay, so in the so you should start working out like this. This is just the step you know to working towards it. And as you get done, this is kind of what you're trying to achieve. Okay, you can erase parts of the letters. You can do whatever you want. 
All right, signing off.